Hi, uh, this is Pastor Nick Hood. Uh, the days are getting shorter, and uh, I apologize I didn't send you a uh, little preview, but those of you who are on Facebook, you know how to find me. And uh, tonight, I want to talk with you about a concept I was just sharing with Denise. I call it the tailwind of opportunity. The tailwind of opportunity. The uh, wind in a, across America typically blows from west to east. There are some times when uh, the wind just goes buck wild. But uh, if you're taking an intercontinental flight or just even a national flight, sometimes uh, the pilot of the plane uh, will want to try to take advantage of the tailwind. Now if you're flying, say, from Detroit to the west coast, you're flying into the, the tailwind. And uh, that's, that's pretty tough. But sometimes what I've noticed is uh, when I've taken an international flight, say from Ghana, Liberia, uh, South Africa, that sometimes what happens is it looks like the pilot will fly up really high in the air, you know, 30 to almost 40,000 feet. And uh, sometimes they go north of America, uh, north of North America and then they go in a long arc and turn around so that they actually get to take advantage of some of that tailwind uh, coming over the Atlantic Ocean and uh, I'm using this as a, an, an analogy because sometimes in life we, it seems like we're swimming upstream I don't know if there's somebody looking at this tonight who feels like you're swimming upstream you're swimming against the tailwind. And one of the challenges in life is to figure out how can I turn that tailwind to my advantage. Uh, one of the biggest challenges in the tailwind of life is to deal with a human being. Sometimes there are people who just don't like you. Sometimes there are people who have made it their mission to make your life miserable. Uh, and then on top of all that, you have a pandemic. And so I think that one of the challenges for you and me is to figure out how can I create an opportunity out of a tailwind. Um, at some point, and I'm not going to do it tonight, I will share with you some of the times where I have really sought to take advantage of the tailwind. And typically, it's people uh, who didn't like me, uh, people who uh, maybe had another agenda. Some of you know I used to be on the Detroit City Council, and one of the things that happens when you're in a political body like the Detroit City Council is uh, you have to vote, but your vote is not enough by itself. You need the votes of other people, and uh, but sometimes people have different agendas, and uh, it can make it very difficult for you to move uh, things in a very positive way. And so one of the things I learned when I was on the city council was talk to my colleagues, to just talk to them. And, uh, and the nice thing about being on a body, an elected body like the city council, is you're voting every week. Every Wednesday, 1130 is when we voted. I don't know what it's like now with districts. But um, because we were voting every week, and, and maybe because I was just a, I'm a minister, people seem to give me a lot of space. You know, and my colleagues, the eight other members of the council, I talk to them, and you know, basically the conversation is very simple, very direct. How are you leaning on this issue? How are you leaning on that issue? Uh, which way do you think you're going to vote? Every now and then, somebody would say on a particular issue, I haven't made up my mind yet. But because we're voting every week, everybody understood that everybody needed everybody else's vote. And because everybody needed everybody else's vote, it actually was very civil. Uh, I don't remember one vote in the eight years that I was there where it was just a knockdown, drag out kind of thing where somebody was so angry that uh, because they couldn't get the rest of the body to go their way that they just stormed out. I never saw that. Uh, and that's because we all realized that we all needed each other. And I 
you know, I don't know if I can impress upon you how contentious a legislative body can be. Uh, but by the same token, when people realize they need one another, then actually uh, sometimes your adversary, uh, who may appear to be a tailwind, can be flipped. You can flip your adversary uh, into a forward wind. Uh, and, and to do that, it requires, it necessitates that you have to talk to people. Uh, you can't show up on the day of a vote and not have talked to people. You have to talk to people. It's absolutely essential uh, in your family life. Uh, if you have a child uh, who is contentious, a, a child who's a contrarian, uh, the most important thing you can do with the child is just talk to them. If you have a husband, a wife, who seems like they're going off in a different direction, my encouragement to you tonight is talk to them. Just talk to them. Uh, if you have a neighbor who you don't like, uh, I talked to a guy the other day, he told me he had a neighbor, neighbors on both sides uh, who were giving him grief and just acting out. At some point, we have to figure out how do I talk to my neighbor? How, how do I communicate with this person or that person? And so, that's the word I leave you with tonight. My word tonight is flip your tailwind into a forward wind. And the way to do that is with Jesus Christ. Uh, I think one Sunday I'm going to preach a sermon called A Tailwind for the Lord. You think about that. Think about it now. That's not what I'm preaching on this week. Uh, but in the days ahead, I think I'm going to preach on the tailwind. I want to ride, I want to catch the tailwind, then I want to ride it. And I want to ride that tailwind till it hollers. I, you know, I'm just going to get on that tailwind, I'm going to get behind the tailwind, and I'm going to say, who's your master now? Uh, but that's not this Sunday, that's a, another Sunday to come. But uh, I leave you with that thought. Think about the tailwinds in your life. Think about the people in your life. Think about the situations in your life. Cancer. Multiple sclerosis may seem like a tailwind, uh, but in faith, we can flip it into something positive. The coronavirus seems like a tailwind, but tonight, I'm encouraging you to flip that tailwind into something positive. Will you join with me in prayer? Gracious Master and our God, we pray this evening a prayer of thanksgiving. I pray this evening a prayer of thanksgiving for the tailwinds. I pray this evening a prayer, O oh Lord God, for every obstacle, every force, uh, every impediment uh, to progress. And I just pray this evening, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you might open my eyes, show me possibility where it appears that there's no possibility. Show me opportunity when it appears that there's no opportunity. And then, O oh Lord God, help me to find that tailwind, help me to grasp that tailwind, Help me to get behind that tailwind. And then, oh Lord God, help me uh, to use the tailwind, not just to my advantage, but to your advantage. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Friends, this is Pastor Nick Hood, and uh, I've been coming to you live. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing these little uh, broadcasts at 6 o'clock at night, because even now it looks a little dark. Uh, but thank you so much, uh, your presence is the greatest encouragement to me. Uh, God bless and God keep you. And I will be coming live Saturday night. I'm going to try it at 6 o'clock and we'll just see what happens. God bless and remember, I am praying.